Hi, I want to talk briefly about bicycling. There's a lot of cyclists out there who uh, spend many, many hours a week uh, cycling, staying in shape, but realize when you're in a position for prolonged periods of time in a forward head position where the head is way out in front of the shoulders, uh, the arms are, are, are locked out, uh, the buttocks is usually staying in a certain position, uh, you are the ones that really need to focus on your forward head posture. This plays a tremendous burden upon the muscles behind the back of the neck and shoulders. These muscles become overstretched and they become very sore and achy. Uh, actually, when you're leaning forward, the muscles of the chest area become shortened. So the accumulation of this, along with the forward head posture, realize that, uh, again, the forward head posture for every inch you bring your head forward is an additional 10 pounds. Your head weighs 12 pounds, so for every inch you go forward, that's 22 pounds for one inch, two, uh, two inches is 32 pounds, three inches, 42 pounds. When you're keeping your head into a forward head position, you need to make sure that you start working those retractor muscles, strengthening those muscles between the shoulder blades, the rhomboid muscles, uh, which I will post uh, on the link here showing you uh, strengthening of those rhomboid muscles and I'll also post below the link here uh, how to stretch those chest muscles. So I just want to remind you that because you're getting good cardiovascular and you are helping a lot of your health through aerobic exercise, you are causing damage on the other realm from a musculoskeletal point of view that you need to become very aware of. So I hope you do these exercises and I hope you feel well. Make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.